ladies and gentlemen, um, we read sometimes through internet or we see some YouTubes or videos against the Catholic Church. Unfortunately, they are so numerous that some people think it's not really worthwhile uh, replying, answering or responding. Anyway, these attacks against the Catholic Church are also attacks against the Orthodox Church, but since uh, the, those who attack, actually, the Church come from the West and they hardly know the Orthodox Church, then they seem to believe, well, so they don't know that they are actually, let me repeat the word, attacking also the Orthodox Church. So, this uh, YouTube in English is meant to tell everyone, as uh, St. Paul puts it, the truth of Christ. The truth of Christ. This truth of Christ is also the truth of history, namely, that the Catholic and the Orthodox Church, churches, were the ones present before 1517 or before 1520. Anyway, we are accused as Catholics to worship the Virgin Mary, which is not true. We honor the Virgin Mary, we worship only the Lord. For us, the Lord Jesus is the only Savior. For us, the Lord Jesus is the only mediator, mediator in the ontological sense of, of the word Mesitis, uh, which is used in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 and following. He is the only one who unites in himself the divinity and the humanity, as we read also in Colossians 2, 9, in him dwells all the fullness of the divine nature in a corporal way. Katiki panto liroma tis theotitos somaticos. Now, these, uh, this group or these groups claim that in the Catholic Church we have only two feasts for the Lord. I am smiling when I say this and lots of feasts for the Virgin Mary, and to their minds, something which is not true at all, there are at least 200 or 280 days a year dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Well, one wonders where these brethren, these brothers of ours, uh, have taken this information from information which is completely, uh, completely false. Why is that? Because every Sunday is the Feast of the Lord. Every Sunday is Kiriaki. We are not Sabbathists. We are, I would say, Sundayists. The day of the Lord, the day of the sun, S-U-N, the day of the sun, S-O-N. Every Sunday for us is the weekly celebration, the feast, the solemn celebration of Christ's resurrection. So Easter is only one day a year, it's the annual celebration of this divine resurrection. Every Friday is the weekly memory of Christ's Passion. We have also other feasts of the Lord, namely, not just His Nativity, His Name, before that the Annunciation of the Lord, Annunciation to Mary, the Virgin, of the Lord's birth, which was calculated to be the 25th of March, so as to have nine months later, then, the celebration of, uh, of Christmas, the Nativity of the Lord. We have the Feast of the Name of the Lord. We have, namely, the name Jesus. 
We have the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, which we call the Epiphany. Epiphany is, is the appearance, the appearing or the appearance of the Lord. And this Epiphany has three branches, so to say, in the uh, liturgical tradition. The appearance of the Lord to the Magi, the, the wise men from the East. The appearance of the Lord during the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River by John the Baptist and the appearance of the Lord at the wedding of Cana in Galilee. Uh, we have the transfiguration of the Lord, another feast. We have also the fasting of the Lord, which is our Lent. Lent is regulated 40 days just as Jesus uh, did fast for 40 days. Then we follow Jesus step by step during his uh, the last days, namely the, the what we call the, the Holy Week. Then, as I said, the Feast of the Resurrection. Then 40 days later, the Feast of the Ascension. Uh, then 50 days later, it, it falls on a Thursday and then the Feast of the Pentecost, which is uh, the Feast of Jesus founding His Church by pouring down His Spirit, the Spirit of the Father, on the Virgin Mary, the Holy Woman, the Apostles and the Disciples. So, we, when we celebrate Mary, we celebrate a human being, not a goddess. And when we say Mother of God, she is not mother of the divine nature. She is mother of the human nature, is Christ. By the way, Elizabeth, the uh, wife of the priest Zechariah, both parents of John the Baptist, said, how come that the mother of my Lord comes to me, the mother of my Lord? Uh, well, so uh, let us be very clear about it. We venerate, but we do not worship the uh, Virgin Mary. By the way, in the Catholic Church, we have other feasts of the Lord. For instance, uh, the Corpus Christi, the Body and Blood of Christ. Uh, we have also the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We have also the Feast of Jesus the King. Uh, it is the last Sunday of the liturgical year. Well, dear brothers and sisters, uh, here we are. Ah, I have just remembered another, uh, another charge against the Church, namely that these appearances of the Virgin Mary, these so-called appearances, according to, uh, to those uh, brothers of ours, uh, well, they come from the devil. So, if you were Christ, just imagine that you are that you are Christ for five minutes. I wouldn't give you more than that. <laughs> well, if you were Christ, would you allow the devil to appear in the form of your mother, of your own mother, the one blessed among women, the one highly favored, the one full of grace, the only one chosen to be the mother of the Lord and the mother of the Savior? So, as you see, uh, there is also a lack of, I would say, a lack of taste, a lack of common sense when people go as far as saying that these so-called apparitions or appearances of uh, the Virgin Mary claimed, especially by the Catholic Church, come from the devil without any, you know, without any discernment, without any analysis, without any research. Well, before you say something, please research and check what you say and let us always judge in an objective uh, and fair way. Thank you.